Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil. This is a quick video just showcasing to see if we could run a virtual reality game from an external hard drive. Now, originally I was going to use an SD card. However, I ran into the issue of not being able to operate my SD card slot for my laptop. So rather than kind of hold off on doing this video, I decided that it made sense to even test it out with an external hard drive. Now keep in mind this hard drive I believe is actually on a USB 2.0 so it's, it is going to run a little bit slower, however it did make sense that I was going to pick a game that was relatively high performance or you know graphically going to be more intensive and this is the video for that. So if you guys are interested in seeing how it's going to perform, I'm going to do a simultaneous video as you guys watch this. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so the game that I'm testing is Raw Data and I currently have this saved on an external hard drive. The specs that I have on my computer is a GTX 1070 and I'm currently running uh, several different applications so obviously right now raw data is waiting to load however I have OBS running in the background to record the video I have the Oculus app on the laptop as well as Steam VR and obviously the game itself so there's quite a few applications that are currently running right now to be able to get this game running and as you can see it does take a little bit of time to load but keep in mind that I actually did attempt running this game uh, several times prior to recording this video. And part of it was just running into to more kind of technical issues with, with uh, the video recording aspect of it. So during the initial startup of this game, there was quite a bit of jittering during the loading time, both in the Steam Home application in the headset, as well as playing the game so during any of the major loading sections of the game there were issues where it was quite a bit of slowdown as well as some jittering but I think that has a lot to do with initializing the game itself but as you can see in the video there wasn't any major issues especially at this stage where I've started up the game several times I can honestly say that gives me confidence and it should give you guys confidence that being able to load and play games from an external source like a hard drive and possibly a micro SD card is something that you're going to be able to do which is a very positive thing and again for for something like this I, uh, for a lot of the games they have to load up to RAM so obviously you're going to get into that issue where you're going to have a considerable amount of time that it will take to load however based on this test I believe that it's safe to say that we can run games from an external source. And as you can see from playing this game Raw Data, when I first tried it out, yeah, there was a little bit of slowdown during, uh, during this part of the level. After starting it up for the third time, uh, didn't really run into any major issues. Obviously, like I said, during the, the moments where the game is loading or there's some executable that's running in the background, there'll be some initial phase of slowdown, but otherwise, you know, watching this video, you can see that it's, it's, it's running quite well. Now, because the specs on my, my laptop is a GTX 1070, you can see that it actually runs fairly well. However, I do have several applications that are running at the same time, and then on top of that, I have this running on Airlink, and I can tell you, viewing from the headset, it runs phenomenally. So this video is at least a good demonstration that I have confidence that games are going to be able to run quite well. Obviously, if there are hardware limitations, certain games might not be able to run as well on a computer that, whose specifications aren't as good. However, running it from something like a mini SD card or an external hard drive, you're really not going to experience some major major issues or some major showstoppers if you decide that you want to save games on an external hard drive and um, this gives me a lot more confidence moving forward as uh, we wait for the Steam Deck to arrive. I think that's something to, to really look forward to. But that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys like 
this video and it was informative. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day and take it easy.